as you can see, we are still in the stunning surroundings of Tintagel Castle. Pretty epic location, that's for sure. If you saw our last video that we uploaded where we introduced my training for the TDS at UTMB video series, we thought we'd stay here, make the most of these epic filming locations. I've been joined by Liga in today's video, so we are gonna be running on the trails, stunning trails around here everywhere you look. And we're also going to be talking about how Liga's felt about running in some running apparel and some trail running shoes that she's been testing out. It is definitely a beautiful day out here. Blue sky, the sun is shining, but the wind is gusting. So we've kind of seeking shelter behind this big rock behind the camera so that it doesn't affect the audio. So hopefully the sound quality is good. Like I was saying, Liga has been sent a load of apparel that she's been running in over the last couple of months. Anyone who follows the channel knows I'm a massive fan of Danish apparel brand Sky, and I really enjoy running in their kit. They were kind enough to send down a really good selection of female specific kit for Liga to test. So she's been running in their long pace tee, a combat short pace tee. She's also been in their short pace tights and you had a combat universal sports bra to test out. You're in the long, uh, long sleeve tee. So probably the best thing to do is to start with that. What we're gonna do is we'll go through all the likes, all the high points, and then maybe we'll work in some dislikes as well, if there is any. So yeah, how's it gone in the long sleeve tee so far? Well, as you well know, I don't usually run in long sleeve tops because yeah. I run quite warm. Yeah, I can definitely vouch for that. We'll be out on a, a you know, on a, a day running and I'll have a G, well, like today, a gilet on, arm warmers, all kinds of stuff, gloves, and Lee will be skipping along in a vest and short shorts. So, it definitely runs hot, yeah. Yeah, but mainly because the couple of long top, uh, long sleeve tops I do have, they are cheap and not really technical. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I do feel quite hot in those. So I didn't really have much belief when I got okay. <laughs> this one. Yeah, yeah. Since starting running in it, I've just, it's just the, it's just the best long sleeve top yeah. ever. I know it's the, my first one, that proper yeah. technical one. So yeah. compared to the, the not so technical kit. Breathability wise, you think it's worked better? In cold weather, it feels like it's really nice and cozy yeah. and keeps me warm. Yeah. And in warmer weather, when it's uh, windy, but warmer yeah. weather, it feels yeah. so breathable, almost like I'm not really wearing anything. So okay, it's like cool. magic. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how, how so, it works. So that's but de definitely a thumbs up then for that. Absolutely. But yeah. then it is like your first sort of proper technical running. Top, yeah. You know? yeah, but the thing with that is I can't go back to no, cheaper no, 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 stuff. No, this I is totally it. Get that. I it totally just feels, get that. you know, anything that makes you feel better while you're running out there, it just helps, doesn't it? Oh, and, massively. Yeah, and massively. this is it. This is. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a massive fan of their fabrics. Really soft, really plush against the skin. Yeah, they feel really yeah. silky. You've had no nice. issues with chafing or. No chafing. Okay. And look how nice it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Nice little star design on it. Yeah, say so sky star. Anything that you're not sure about? The dislikes, um, there are none. <laughs> okay, right. Definitely so none. Definitely a big thumbs up when it comes to the long sleeved uh, tee. What about the short sleeved uh, combat tee you've also been running in? Yeah, I really like that one as well. It is very light, very yeah. light and very breathable as well. Yeah, yeah slightly different um, fabric to the long sleeve top. Yeah. Definitely lighter, more breathable. Yeah, more breathable. Although maybe, this maybe feels not really as, breathable maybe not as, as well. Yeah, maybe not as soft. Do you find that? Yeah, it's soft? not as soft. Yeah. This feels silkier. Yeah, I um, like the I like the fabric of the long sleeved and I like the fabric of the paste short sleeve tees. I just find it really yeah. really plush against the skin. So again, yeah, I thumbs really up. like it. Thumbs thumbs up. Okay. And then the last top is the universe um, the sports bra. Now Liga's had a bit of a history with sports bras and um, maybe wearing shall we say a cheaper price point sports bra yeah. that's not that technical and like finishing runs and having all kinds of chafing issues it's really not pleasant not comfortable she was putting up with it but it's just not good enough so 
Yeah. Has the Say Sky Sports Bra been an improvement on that? Yeah, massive improvement. Yeah. I, I really like it. I like how it looks. Not that looks matter, especially when no one really no, sees it no, anyway. No. But yeah, it's really comfortable. I haven't had any chafing with it. And my favourite bit of it is the back of it because it's got full mesh back. Okay. When you're running, it almost feels like, you know, you're not really wearing anything. So and them... I, them I, I like that feeling. Them uh, cheaper sports bras, they've been <laughs> tossed in the bin. Well, well, they're all right if you do some workouts, yeah, but maybe, maybe not for yeah. running. Yeah, or maybe short running, but obviously when you're running distance, this is when, you know, well-developed technical kit comes into play. So uh, I, I think you've been pretty amazed with the difference, haven't you? I, I really have. Yeah. I and like, really like you said, I think once you've tried that and you've realised how good it is yeah. and the difference, it's very hard to Yeah, I can't, I can't go back to that. Moving on to the shorts that Liga has been testing. And again, Sasko were kind enough to send her a pair of their short pace tights to test out. She'd been running in them with the tops over the last couple of months. So, so far, how have they performed for you? They perform really well. I've been running in short shorts for a long time on my daily runs, but for distance running, I really like my Salomon S Lab Scott that's mm -hmm. got internal tights. But since they don't make them anymore, I really wanted to find something that would replicate that. And and I find that I have with them with the Say Sky tights cool. because they fit really well. There's no chafing with them. They've got nice storage pockets as well. And fabric, um, fabrics, what's the fabric the, been like? Yeah, the fabric's really nice and soft. My favourite part of it is that it's got nice wide waistband, yeah. which is what I look for in shorts, but don't seem to, to find it. Yeah, many. I mean, I think it's really, I, I love a wide waistband on the short. I think it makes them very comfortable. The thing I don't like in shorts is the drawstrings, and even these ties had drawstring, but I pulled it out and now they're perfect. Okay. <laughs> because they, I don't, I don't need drawstrings. I don't know who does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people do, I don't. <laughs> yeah, but so why why do you not like a drawstring? Do you find yeah, it? because they dig in, it okay. always seems to dig in. So, or... And because obviously they're a tight and they're fitted, they don't really need a drawstring. Don't need a drawstring. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got anyway. I've got a pair of the Pace tights and I think they, they, they are super comfy to run in. Yeah, and the, and the little like handy them. pockets are, are really good, you know, good sized pockets as well. Perfect for, for storing a gel gels, if you're out yeah. on a run or anything like that. It's yeah. got the nice zip pocket at the back where I can put uh, keys yeah, in. Yeah, nice and secure. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about it. So yeah, like so the like shorts that. have performed really well. Yeah, really happy with the shorts. Yeah, so tops or winner. Yeah, or yeah, winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're Especially this one. Yeah, yeah. Can't get her out of that one. <laughs> Um, yeah, short sleeve, long sleeve tops are winner. You'd definitely use them, uh, you know, or buy them again. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And again, the, the tights, the fitted tight shorts, are, yeah, perform well. Perform really well, yes. So we really have, we it. have, Thanks, Sky. <laughs> so we obviously have another fan of Say Sky Apparel at the channel, and uh, yeah, definitely thumbs up all round from us. So we just dropped down into this amazing little valley here. The trails out this part of the world are stunning. We got cows grazing on the slopes beside us, but we're gonna talk all about shoes now. Let's go up this hill. Right, so Liga has been running in the Innovate Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max. Boom, got it right. Bit of a tongue twister. Um, if you followed the channel, then you know I've tested and reviewed the shoe and you know, I like the shoe, I got on with it. I like the way it handled distance. I like the way it crossed over to lots of different terrain. It was a bit heavy for me, but apart from that, it was a really good shoe. But maybe uh, walking up a steep set of steps isn't the best place to talk about it. But yeah, you've been running in it for quite a few months now. How, have you, how are you feeling about the shoe? Come on, let's walk, walk and talk. Yeah. So the shoe, I find it really comfortable. I guess that's what you call it. It's firm soft or soft firm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally agree it's there. Very, I yeah. find it's really unusual because... It is quite a funny feeling too. Yeah. yeah it's, it's cushion, but it's not soft, squishy cushioning, is it? No, I wouldn't say it's cushion at all because it doesn't feel cushion okay. at all. Yeah. yeah, it feels soft, but that, I guess that's the boomerang insole that does... Yeah, yeah, it makes a big difference. ...that does it. Yeah. So that's an interesting feeling, but I like it. Yeah. I find it very comfortable as well. 
I do have to pull it in quite tight, but I actually have to do that with most of my shoes, so yeah. it's not the shoe's fault. Yeah. So out this way, there is a lot of steps to navigate, so that's why we've come out here, really, to do some training as well. You like the level of cushioning? Yeah, the level of cushioning. Yeah, I like good. the level of cushioning. Yeah, um, as far as the laces, you have to pull them in quite tight. And you're a fan of the boomerang insole. Uh, what have you thought about uh, the level of grip traction from the outside? I feel like I can go on anywhere okay. uh, with it because I, I've run in, if you'd seen some of our older videos. Yeah, yeah. From Christmas time, yeah. Yeah, we, we ran through a lot of mud. Yeah. And I felt I felt really safe actually okay, running good. through mud. Yeah. The, the bit I didn't like is that it hold, held on to a lot of mud, yeah. so it made yeah. a heavy shoe already quite heavy. Yeah. So the, the the outsole didn't clear the mud that way. It kind of held on to it. And like Lee was saying, it's quite a heavy shoe anyway. And then uh, to be fair, it was sticky mud. It so was. I, it I was really say, sticky yeah. mud. I think any shoe would have probably done that in no I, th I think you're right yeah. but it feels also it feels really stable this is the most stable shoe I've ever run yeah, it that's is, yeah, what it really feels like because I also ran in uh, Saucony Exodus yeah and that one's cushioned and quite soft and bouncy yeah. and yeah. I can really tell the difference okay, between that, that one do you feel that platform is less stable than your Innovate yeah okay yeah the Innovate I just feel really really stable and really grounded yeah and i totally agree you know it's a deeply cushioned shoe so you are quite high off the floor but because of the the level of cushioning under your foot it's still you still do feel really well connected and it still feels very innovate like even though it kind of goes against everything innovate believe in yeah, it still feels i mean obviously this was your first innovate shoe it was so. my first innovate shoe yeah but i feel yeah i feel really connected with the ground yeah so it's quite, you keep saying that it's a high, it's a high stack yeah, shoe, but yeah. it doesn't feel like it. I feel no, I like mean, I'm, it's, you just don't, in yeah. a good way, yeah. I feel yeah, like I'm really Yeah, that's really grounded. positive, really positive. If you feel, you know, you have got a deep level of cushion in there, but if you feel connected, then that's great. You know, that's what they tried to achieve with the shoe, so. This yeah. shoe, I was saying to Lloyd earlier, this shoe reminds me of my fat bike, because it's, <laughs> it's kind of big, yeah. wider, but really stable, and you can go through anywhere with it cool i like so that that's I like what that. i like that comparison <laughs> it's the fat bike of the trail running shoe world yeah and that kind of makes sense <laughs> clearly that's all the things that you have liked about running in the innovate shoe but is there anything that you've found while you've been running in it that you think could be improved or you don't like about the performance well the first thing would be definitely the weight yeah because after going through all the mud it kind of put me off wanting to do the ARC 50 in these shoes. I didn't run it anyway, I was poorly. Uh, so it's the weight, Yeah. the price. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is an expensive shoe. I, I totally agree. I think, yeah, the major holdbacks of the shoe are the weight and the price. And there is one little thing, but that's only my little thing. <laughs> I really like for a running shoe to have somewhere to tack your laces in. Okay. And this one doesn't have that. So this is what I've done now. I just use this bit to tuck it in because yeah. some other shoes have that. I just wish it had something like that, but maybe it's just me. You don't seem yeah, to well care I think, about it. I think it's because you pull your laces in quite tight because you've got quite a shallow foot. Right. You then have a lot of excess lace. Oh, that makes sense. So you need somewhere to tuck it away. So yeah, you're... But that's just something I would like. It's not a big issue. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, so then just rounding up, you've enjoyed the experience in the shoe. You know, you... I, I, yeah, even, even with the negatives, I keep... I keep choosing this shoe when I go out for runs. So. Well, that's got to be a good thing. So, so you're going to continue running in it. And where do you think it works best? You know, is it best suited to longer, slower runs, faster, shorter runs? Well, I'm not really fast anyway. <laughs> so I guess just the uh, long plods for yeah. me anyway. But yeah, um, so as far as the... It um, also runs really well on the road. I know it's not a road shoe, but it really, I think it crosses over really well. Yeah, no, it does, definitely. Uh, it definitely crosses over. But I guess well. this is what I meant when I said, I feel like I can go uh, with them on any way. Yeah, and I think that's what makes it a good distance shoe. You know, whenever you run distance, you're going to be crossing over to lots of different types of terrain and yeah. it can run on pretty much everything. You know, that's, that's what I found when I tested it. Yeah, I definitely feel like you can. So let's just yeah. round this up with... You know, we're known for scoring things that run for adventure. Ooh. So, put you on the spot. So, first thing to score would be price. What would you give it out of 10? Ooh. And you can be as brutal as you want. Five, four, five? 
four. Four? <laughs> Should we go with the four? four? Right, four I'll out. Go for four because I wouldn't want to spend that on this yeah. shoe, even though it's great, but yeah. it's quite expensive, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, okay. So next up, comfort and performance, out of 10. Comfort and performance. Uh, I'll give it an eight. An eight, that's good. Yeah. Strong eight. And then yeah. durability. Oh, I feel like it's bomb proof. Yeah. So, I don't know, can you give it a 10? I'll give it a nine. Nine out of 10. Yeah. Nine out of 10 for durability. So, pretty good scoring all round. So, I'd say that's pretty much a thumbs up for uh, Innovate's Trailflight Ultra G 300 Max from <laughs> yeah. Liga. Do we talk about the looks as well? I like the looks. <laughs> you like the looks? Oh, you've got yeah. to like the looks because you've got the special colorway. Yeah. I wanted it in that colorway and they didn't have my size. <laughs> and we, we love the colorway because it matches the Run for Adventure technical apparel perfectly. Black, white and green. Nice job Innovate uh, color coding it to our technical kit. But yeah, so yeah, sounds pretty positive. Yeah. Yeah, right. Should we do some more running? Let's, what a let's glorious day. I mean, look at that. How good is that a backdrop for a shoe review? You know, we always want to bring you the stunning views that run for adventure and you are definitely getting them today. Right, let's let's, let's do some go. running. Come on, let's go. Right, that is a wrap on our video today. Really hope you enjoyed seeing some of the epic trails around this area. It was amazing to run on, wasn't it? That's great. Especially when the sky is blue and the sun is shining. I just want to say a massive thanks to Liga for coming on the channel. You know, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys watch it at home and think, you know, speaking in front of a camera is really easy. And, you know, I'm sure from all my out outtakes, you should know that that isn't the case. And it's amazing how you put that camera in front of someone, press the button and, you know, you get worried, you feel you're pressured and your head goes empty and you can't remember what to say. So it is quite a big deal and it can be quite worrying. So thank you for coming on. I hope it wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't too bad. It's all right. Yeah. It'll be so, better next time. Yeah. So we want to say a massive thanks, obviously, to the Danish brand Say Sky for sending the kit for Liga to test. Really appreciate that, guys. And for Innovate for supplying a pair of the Trailfly um, Ultra G 300 Maxes for her to run in. So big thanks. That really helps the channel out when it comes to reviewing product. We've got some other female specific reviews planned. So what have we got coming up uh, over the next couple of weeks? Uh, so the brand New Glow that you just recently reviewed, yeah. they are sending over some women's clothing, awesome. uh, some waterproof jacket, uh, a top, shorts and socks for me to test out. So yeah, I'll I'll test some test it out over the next few weeks and um, I'll come back and tell yeah. you how it was. <laughs> yeah, tell us all about it. So, and I can assure you, the more you do this, the more you talk to the camera, the easier it gets. Yeah. You probably don't believe me, but it really does. You know, uh, all you've got to do is go and watch some of them early videos that I did and you'll know that's the case. But yeah, for now guys, thanks for watching. It is really, really appreciated, but we'll see you here very, very soon again. And as always, stay safe and keep on running.